Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday, where we open some old baseball cards from the past. And today we are going back 17 years to 2003, and we are going to open two hobby boxes of 2003 Topps Chrome Series 2. Uh, this set is stocked with Hall of Famers. Series 2 is, and there's a, a couple rookie cards in there that we'll keep an eye out for, but... The main thing, I guess, that we're looking for in these hobby boxes is going to be the game use relic in every box. It'd be cool to get two autographs in here, but back in 2003, hobby boxes didn't have two autographs like they have now. Instead, it is one relic. So we'll see what that's all about here in a second. Let's give you a quick little walk around of the box before opening these up. I picked these up out in Ohio last month. Uh, and I paid, I think it was $65 a piece after taxes were included. And uh, without further ado, let's get these boxes open. We do have two sponsors today. Jack is going to get the first box and Jake is going to get the second. If you'd like to sponsor a box like this one or participate in any of our case breaks, make sure you check us out on Patreon. It is $3 a month, 10 cents a day. And the link is in the description if you'd like to check it out. So, Jack, you're up first. Let's see what we can find. Back in 2003, you could buy a pack of Topps Chrome for three bucks. Pretty cheap, I guess, by today's standards. Inside, we have a checklist of all of the cards that you can find. That's pretty cool. There's 220 cards in Series 2. You can see it picks up with card 221. There's... A, all the guys that we are after, here's the back. You can see they have the inserts there listed. And there's also some nice younger players there. You'll see draft pick cards. Starting with that, Brian Bullington, who was the Pirates' number one overall pick and a complete bust. And then we have a bunch of prospects. Like, there guys like Dontrell Willis, Joe Maurer, Justin Morneau. They're all on a dual card. And then there's some inserts that we're after as well. So let's see what we can find. Here is our, I guess, is this our relic? It feels almost like a slabbed card. Uh, very thick. That's that's interesting. I was not expecting that. I was expecting the relic to just be within one of these packs. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess that would go right in the card store owner's collection, I guess. When they open a box and put it out for sale, they would just take that and, and sell it. So anyway, here we go. There is the first look at the 2003 Topps Chrome design. We've never opened 2003 Topps uh, on any of our Throwback Thursdays yet because I'm just terrified they're going to stick together. This is what the back of the cards look like. Pretty standard baseball card right there. I will say that I do like the design. There's an E-Tops where your love of sports cards can pay dividends. I was not collecting back then, so I do not remember anything about E-Tops, but I can tell you it's no longer around. Joe Kennedy and BJ Suroff is the last card right there. So 24 packs per box, four cards per pack in 2003. There's a Hall of Famer. It is a Tom Glavin, and it looks like we have... Back-to-back -back numbered cards. Golds are usually out of 50. Let's see if they were out of 50 back then. No, they're out of 449. So we have a Rick Helling and a uh, former uh, Rookie of the Year right there, Todd Hollinsworth, there with the Marlins. And there's a Dean Palmer as well for Jack. Let's get your name over there, Jack. All right, next pack up. Let's see what we can find. We have a Craig Wilson, former Bucca right there. I think he once hit 36 home runs in a season. I really like how they put the picture in there. We're kind of reminiscent of uh, 1983 and 1984 tops, how they put a little mug shot in the corner. There's a Joe Girardi back when he played with the Cardinals, of course. Now he's a manager for the Phillies and widely regarded as one of the best and well-respected managers in the game. All right, here we go. Next pack, we have David Bell, another manager. Of course, David Bell, manager for the Reds. Mike Sweeney and E-Tops Carpets. I'm going to just throw that away. Desi Relaford and Ricky Lede is the last one. I remember Ricky Lede. People were thinking maybe he would be a good player, but that didn't really work out for him, I guess. Next pack up for Jack. I'm almost considering probably the next pack I'll do a super rip on or one of my... Uh, where I take a whole stack and rip all of them at once. We've got a Brian Bullington. I mentioned his name already. He was, a unfortunately, a big bust for the Buccos. Here's a nice prospect gold card of Brandon Phillips, BP, 
who's actually still trying to play baseball. He's in independent leagues right now. And Victor Martinez, who's recently retired, and Randy Wynn, speeds to Randy Wynn. Those are both out of four ninety nine. dollars Eric Owens is the last one there in that particular pack. All right, well, next pack, we've got Garrett Anderson, a very good hitter in his career. Andy Pettit, uh, not a Hall of Famer, but... He is up for consideration, not getting enough votes, obviously, to get in there. But uh, Andy Pettit, big game pitcher, might maybe someday gets in. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens with that. A.J. Przinski's on the back. There's Richard Hidalgo. Nice power hitter there. And we have a first-year card, a rookie card of Jose Contreras. And this one is going to be numbered out of 699. So it seems like the parallels... I don't know if they produced a lot more. There's Chris Woodward talking about managers. Seems like the parallels, they were more widely produced back in 2003. Um, or may, I don't know. Maybe they're, they just, I don't know if they made more of the uh, base cards or uh, just more parallels. Here's a nice one. A black of uh, black border Mariana Rivera out of 199. So we're getting a nice lower numbered parallel right there. Frank Catalanato and Mike Piazza, Hall of Famer from the Mets right there. Of course, Piazza is mostly known for his time with the um, Los Angeles Dodgers, but he did spend a lot of time with the Mets and also some time with the uh, Marlins and A's. There's Manny Ramirez. Uh, Placido Polanco, this one is also out of six ninety nine. Another refractor right there. Mike Bordick and Steve Sparks, former knuckleballer. I would always respect the knuckleballers. Always thought it was really cool. One of my favorite pitches to throw. And whenever I threw a, a nasty knuckleball, it didn't move at all. I felt, um, I don't know, very, very, very happy about it. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. in his Reds uniform. Check out... The kid's stats right there really banged up in 2002. Only eight home runs after he left the Mariners. He had that one good season with the Reds. And then the injury bug um, just kind of took a few chunks of his season, unfortunately. For a while there, it looked like the kid may be the all-time home run king, the way he was going early in his career, coming up as a teenager with the Mariners and becoming the big bopper that he was. But unfortunately, injuries... I don't want to say got the better of him, but definitely slowed him down. Jeff Francis draft pick and Scott Erickson refractors. And we have a Brad Osmus, another um, manager. Manager. Next pack up, Jake Peavy, former Cy Young Award winner. We got a Brian Wright. I don't remember Brian Wright at all. Another Placido Polanco and Jake Peavy. Who, like I said, won the Cy Young Award. I can't remember the year. It might have been 06. Carlos Lee, El Caballo is on the back. There's Eric Burns. You'd go on to have a nice post-baseball uh, career being an analyst there. There's a Willie Roberts Blue Refractor. We have a Sterling Hitchcock. Interesting name right there. And Carlos Lee is the last one. About halfway through the box for Jack on this throwback Thursday. Our next pack, we've got Paul Canerco, who had a really nice career. Jason Tyner. And we have Kerry Leitenberg. I remember him with the Braves. And Felipe Lopez, there's the last one. All right, let's see what we've got. I want to find a Derek Jeter. There is a Jeter in this set. There's Boomer, a.k.a. David Wells, out of 199. Nafi Perez and Marquise Grissom with the Giants. Grissom had a nice long career. Mostly remember him as an Expo, also as an Indian. We have a prospect card. I haven't seen any of these. I don't think we've seen any of these yet. There's a Joe Borchard and Corwin Malone, and they're going to give us another one. It's a Lyle Overbay and Chad Tracy, Blue Refractor. Nice one right there. Nick Johnson and Ryan Jensen. For whatever reason, I used to hate Nick Johnson. I don't know why. I don't know if it was his batting style or just the smug look on his face when he stepped into the batter's box, but... Throughout baseball, my my fandom, there's always players that I didn't like for literally no reason. And uh, in the early 2000s, Nick Johnson was definitely on that list. We have a Todd Hollinsworth again. And Joey Gomes, draft pick card, is our last one right there. Coming up next, let's see what we can find for Jack. I'm really interested to see what that refractor is all about. That big, fat, thick, it almost feels like a framed card. Uh, what is this? I thought that that would be, did I say your factor? 
I thought that would be the relic. We have the relic in the pack. It is a Jeff Bagwell. It is a good one. A record breakers, authentic game worn jersey of Jeff Bagwell. So maybe that's just a box topper in there. We'll see what that's all about. Like I said, I wasn't collecting cards in 2003. In fact, I didn't collect cards from about 97 until a few years ago. Um, there's the Bagwell. So congratulations on that one, Jack. You get a Hall of Famer. Xavier Nady had some nice seasons for the Buccos and Yankees. Let's see what we can find next. The Relic is gone, and that is the uh, main, I guess, draw of the box. There's a Moise Salou Blue Refractor. We've got Joe Creedy and Dave Roberts still on the base. Talking about managers. I wonder how many managers are in this set. A lot of these guys. I now have managerial careers. There's Lee Stevens leading things off. Christian Guzman. Got that E-Tops card in there. I guess that's kind of like the spacer to uh, prevent people from figuring out which pack has the relic in there. Uh, kind of how Panini does it. We have a Dontrell Willis prospects card. And another prospect card with Jose Reyes on there. And Aaron Heilman. There's D'Angelo Jimenez. Those are both uh, out of four... 49 and Julio Lugo. So we've got a grand total for Jack of about three packs. We'll get these open up and see what we can find. And then we got to open up that mysterious um, silver pack. And then after that, we'll check out the other one for Jake. Mike Hampton, a heck of a hitter for a pitcher, Hampton was. There's Cliff Floyd and Dimitri Young, who had a great baseball collection. Shout out to Dimitri Young if you ever watched any of our videos by accident and just came across our channel. I know that you love baseball cards. And uh, Dimitri Young had like PSA 10s of like all the best rookie cards. Uh, I think he almost lost his, uh, his whole bank account over those. I think he sold a lot of them, but he had quite the collection, which nowadays that collection he had probably like, I don't know, probably like quadrupled if not more in value all right so here we go last pack for jack then we'll check out the silver pack there's a paul bird on the back with sean estes nice lefty right there most remember him as a giant carlos pena and milton bradley and now let's check this thing out what the heck is this feels like a, a slab card i have no idea what this could be it is going to be a D'Angelo Jimenez Refractor. Check that one out. It looks like an X-Fractor card. D'Angelo Jimenez. Very nice. Out of 57. Did he even advertise that on the box? That's pretty awesome. Imagine getting like, a, I don't know, Derek Jeter or something like that. Very nice. So, Jack, that was unexpected. Congrats on that one. We have one more box to do. And it is going to be for Jake. You'll probably see a few of the same cards coming out as there's only 220 cards in the set. We've got, what, uh, roughly about 100 cards in the box. So some of these may be new. Still have yet to find um, Derek Jeter in here along with, who else is missing? I think Randy Johnson is also in this set. So, Jake, let's see what we can find. I'm going to do a super rip for you is what I call them. This is how I usually break uh, these boxes during the live streams. I'll take a stack. And I'll open up all the packs at once. And then we'll just go through them and talk about them and see what we can find. So the last two stacks are, have a couple packs less to make make up for that, um, I guess, X-Fractor card. So here we go, Jake. We're going to start off with yours and see what we can do. Hopefully we can find you some decent rookie cards. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying the Throwback Thursday series. The goal is to eventually open everything all the way from obviously it's going to be really tough to open boxes or packs of cards from the 50s and 60s but uh for those ones we'll just just do set breaks for those we did one already about a month ago 1960 tops where i picked up a complete set of 1960 tops and made my own packs out of them put one hall of famer per pack and then we ran a randomizer and uh, did it live style. It was really, really fun. We'll do that again soon. Maybe uh, maybe next week or the week after. So here we go, Jake. Let's see what we can find for you. There's a Scott Spezio. These E-Tops cards. We're just going to get rid of those. Chuck Finley. Nice left right there. Ken Griffey Jr. I already saw that one. Preston Wilson. That's going to be numbered. Uh, again, out of 699. 
Why not just make it 700? I don't know. There's Jake PV. We have another refractor coming up. It's a Torrey Hunter. Torrey Hunter, of course, I always remember him for the 2002 All-Star Game, robbing Barry Bonds of that home run. And then Bonds would meet him as he was running off the field and pick him up and just throw him over his shoulder like he was a sack of potatoes. There's Roger Cedeno. There's Dimitri Young once more. Flash Gordon, that's D. Gordon's dad. Tom Gordon had a great career as a closer. There's Roger Cedeno. Cedeno, Armando Benitez, another former closer. Dave Roberts is the last card right there, and stack number one is in the books. Let's see what we can find in stack number two. Looking for the relic for Jake. Hopefully it's a big name. We'll see. The first relic that we found in box one was a nice one, a Jeff Bagwell. Now, usually relics don't go for that much. Typically on eBay, uh, a Jeff Bagwell relic. Just throwing a, a number out there, maybe like around 8 to $10. A lot, a lot of time relics, quite honestly, especially nowadays, since there's so many of them, only be a few dollars. I did find it interesting because I used the uh, almanac from Beckett to just just kind of like as a checklist to get a feel for who's in the set. It's just easier than poking around websites looking at it. Um, but they list every single card at a dollar. So <laughs> David Bell's worth a dollar. Brad Penny, I didn't look at the refractors, but the refractors are usually worth uh, the black refractors they have is five times the value. The gold refractors... Uh, they have it six times the value. That's interesting. So Brad Penny, a $6 card? I don't think so. I'd probably put the average card from this set. I, I don't know, 10 cents maybe. There's a nice one right there. BJ Upton draft pick card. Ryan Dempster used to love how he would hide the ball with his glove, kind of wiggle the ball or the uh, glove around to not give away the way he was positioning his hand on the ball there's Derek Jeter check that one out Derek Jeter about ready to I guess make a force out at second base on Jeremy Burnett's it looks like Jeremy Burnett's maybe broke his arm there his left arm is just kind of like hanging there all awkwardly really cool can card there at Shea Stadium Derek Jeter like that one a lot let's show you the back of Hall of Famer and Marlins co-owner Derek Jeter like that one was looking for that one. There's Jose Contreras' rookie card. And we have our relic, and it is a Hall of Famer. So, Roberto Alomar, it's a 1951 Redback card. We got Jeff Bagwell out of the first box, and now we have Roberto Alomar. Really cool. I like these. I was really glad that we got those. I guess we could have done a lot worse and had, like, a Cliff Floyd relic or something like that, or Darren Erstad looking over the list. Uh, Kaz Sasaki. But we got some Hall of Famers there. Congratulations, Roberto Alomar. You've just received an authentic game-worn jersey card of a Hall of Famer. That is a nice one, Jake. Looks like um, I picked out two good boxes at the card store. Xavier Nady, Paul Canerco, Mark Grace. Uh, Mark Grace getting a little bit of blowback for some dumb comments he made on the air recently about his ex-wife. Mark McLemore is the last one. Of course, he is an announcer. I... I I guess for the, is it the Diamondbacks or the Cubs? I can't remember. Um, I just saw that story. But anyway, we have two stacks left to go. And then we have that um, encased X-Fractor card for Jake before we get on out of here. Hopefully everybody is having a great Thursday. Tomorrow we have Face-Off Friday. Should be fun. We're putting the Mega Boxes against each other. Topps Chrome Mega from 2020 against a 2019 uh, Chrome Update Box, which is a really nice box, against a 2020 Bowman Mega. Hey, Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer Gold Refractor of Chipper Jones is a nice one, along with an A.J. Przinski. Kevin Millar, Scott Strickland. There we go. That's a nice one right there. Two... Big time stars during this era, Joe Maurer and Justin Morneau. Very nice card. Those aren't their rookie cards. Of course, Maurer's rookie was the year before in 2002 tops. There's Jose Reyes refractor. Chris Woodward once again. Lyle Overbay for the second time. Frank Catalanato. Mike Piazza seeing some repeats now as we get towards the end of this box. Carlos Pena and Marquise Grissom. One more stack left to go. Let's see what we can find for you, Jake. Thank you very much for watching once again. And uh, 
trying to think what we're going to do next week for Throwback Thursday. I've got a couple different things that we could do. I've got 2010 Chrome. Um, I've got like, like two cases of that. We may do a live case break at some point on Thursday going through those. Or maybe we'll do a baseball card exchange box. I picked up a huge baseball card exchange collection, which is really tough to find since um, baseball card exchange boxes are almost like non-existent now because, I don't know, the junk wax is drying up and those that are still around are super, super expensive. So I did buy a large collection of those. We may just break that up and do one per week, opening an old box of some old stuff from the early 80s. All right, so here's our last stack. John Allerud, Ryan Kleska. We've got a gold of Bud Smith and Toby Hall back-to-back. -back. Seems like those golds are always back-to-back. -back. Jeremy Hermita, draft pick card. Tim Salmon, everybody was all about Tim Salmon back in 1993. Uh, I remember going after his cards well. Mike Bordick, Refractor Blue. Kerry Leitenberg once more with El Caballo, Moise Salou, and Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez. Nice one right there. Gabe Kapler, speaking of managers. Jim Edmonds, Tim Morrell. That is a black out of 199. And a couple more cards, and that will do it. Chris Singleton is the last one. So let's check out this encased Super Fractor, I guess, which I didn't know anything about, but they were in the box. So here we go, Jake. Let's see if you can beat the D'Angelo Jimenez card that was in our last box. And you have a Scott Spezio X-Fractor out of 57. So there we go. Not the biggest names out there. Spezio had, as you can see, uh, a nice career, I guess. Serviceable veteran. So that's it, everybody. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Throwback Thursday. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not yet already. Please like the video as well. Let me know what you think of 2003 Topps Chrome. That was fun. Now, I've not opened those before, so cool to open some stuff that I have not yet seen. Hopefully, you enjoyed it as well. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday. Please join us tomorrow for Face Off Friday and have a great rest of your evening. Good night, everybody.